Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to add issue security scheme and security levels in Jira. I have logged into my Jira account. Go to settings, issues and then select issue security schemes. Currently we don't have any issue security schemes configured. Let's add one. Click add issue security scheme. Okay. I am going to add an issue security scheme. I am going to give the name as issue security screen. Click add. Okay. So the what is an issue security scheme? Right. So it says issue security schemes allow you to control who can and cannot view issues. Right. So it, this is going to help you in controlling. Right. Who will be able to view certain issues. Right. So they consist of a number of security levels which can have users groups assigned to them. So how we are going to control that? By using these security levels. You will be able to create multiple security levels and you will be able to assign users groups to those security levels. And then you will be able to, when you are creating an issue, you can select a specific security level. So which means only the users who have access to that security level will be able to see that particular issue. Okay. So I am going to call it as first level, first level, add security level, okay. I will add one more security level, second level, okay. Then click add security level. So now we have created one issue security scheme and added two security levels, okay. Now let's add users to that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, so I'm going to select the project role and then I'm going to say the project administrators, the people who have this project role administrators will be able to see the issues which is associated with the first level. Okay, add. So then what we are going to do is, I'm going to add users to the second level, right? For that I'm going to see only the current assignee will be able to see okay click add okay so now what we have done is we have associated the project role and the current assignee to the first level and the second level okay so now what we are going to do is i'm going to go to the project okay go to the project settings so first let us confirm whether the current user is part of the administrator group go to people Okay, I'm seeing this user is part of the developer group. So I'm going to give them the administrator role. Okay, so I've done that. So next what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to the security. Okay, so currently issue security is not enabled for this project. So we are going to select a scheme. And select the issue security scheme. Click next. Okay, associate. Okay, click acknowledge okay so we are good okay so next what we need to do is go to permissions okay actions edit permissions so what we need to do is so you could see there is a set issue security okay so currently only the project role atlassian add-ons project has access so we are going to give access even to the administrators okay click update okay so we have done all the necessary things okay so now let us go and create an issue and check click create okay right so we need to give a summary so i am going to give say test bug okay okay and here we have an option for the security level so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say i'm going to give the first level okay click create now click view issue i can see this issue right because we have given access to the this current user who is part of the project role administrators okay so now what we are going to do is go back to the project project settings go to people okay, so what i'm going to do is i am going to change right i'm going to give developers access and i am going to remove the administrator access okay now let's get back to the project okay then go to the issues okay so now i don't have the visibility for the issue em18 because that issue will be visible only to the 
users who have the first level security level access right so because earlier i was able to see because uh, for the first level we have given the project role as administrators and this user was part of the administrators so that's why we were able to see and now i have removed the uh, access to this user so the user is not able to see that in this demo we have seen how to add issue security scheme and security levels in jira if you like this demo please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo